right now, the Milky Way is eating another galaxy. Not in 4 billion years, now. The poor unfortunate galaxy that our home is shredding is called the Sagittarius Dwarf Spheroidal Galaxy. Its stellar corpse wraps around our galaxy like a gruesome hula hoop, and its repeated passes through the galaxy may have played a critical role in the structure of the galaxy and the formation of the solar system. The Sagittarius galaxy was first discovered in 1994 as an unusual clump of stars located somewhere around the direction of the galactic core, all moving in roughly the same direction. The only explanation that made sense at the time, and remains to this day, is that there is a small additional galaxy that is in the process of orbiting around and falling into the Milky Way. Later, in 2003, a more complete star map was produced, showing the full shape of the dwarf galaxy in its full discombobulated glory swirling around the Milky Way. But as the galaxy passes through the disk of the Milky Way, of course it's going to wreak havoc. And in 2011, a team of astrophysicists ran a series of computer simulations on exactly what the collisions may have done to an early, non-spiral Milky Way galaxy. And what they found is that if the Milky Way galaxy was originally not a spiral galaxy, when the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy passed through the Milky Way galaxy a few times over the last several billion years, it produced spiral arms somewhat like the spiral arms we know the Milky Way galaxy has now. Of course, this is far from definitive. We don't know exactly what the Milky Way looked like 5 billion years ago, and traditionally, the Milky Way's spiral arms are understood to have developed in accordance with density wave theory. But we must always remain open-minded about such things, especially when they're so complicated. But that's not all the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy may have done. In October of 2020, a team of astronomers analyzed the age of stars in a bubble about 6,500 light years across surrounding the Earth, and found that there was a lot of clustering in ages around 5.7 billion years ago, 1.9 billion years ago, and 1 billion years ago. And coincidentally, these roughly coincide with three times the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy supposedly passed through the Milky Way. And we know that galaxy collisions can trigger star formation, as they tend to disrupt gas clouds and cause perturbations, which inevitably result in stellar collapse. And it just happens to be the case that one of these pass-throughs, the one 5.7 billion years ago, could have very well been the initial cause for a cascade of events that resulted in the formation of our own solar system. Now, of course, that last bit is highly speculative. It's hard to know for sure which stars formed as a result of what. All we can really say with any degree of certainty is that a lot more stars in the Milky Way formed because of the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy, not which ones in particular. Anyway, on behalf of the Milky Way Galaxy, I would like to formally thank the Sagittarius Galaxy for sacrificing itself so that we can live in a beautiful spiral galaxy, and perhaps so we can live it all.